So in today's video, I want to look at finding the rule for a composite function. I don't want to look at the domain and range of a composite function, just simply finding the rule for it. Uh, composite functions is an extremely difficult topic for many students. And the previous video I recorded on composite functions focused primarily on the domain and range. So I want to record a more introductory video on just finding the rule. So let's look at this first example where we have f of x is equal to sine x and g of x is equal to the square root of x. And let's say we want to find the rule for f of g of x. So here, what this means is that the input of f is the output of g. So what we're going to simply do is replace every x in sine in this definition with g of x. So I'm going to have sine of g of x. But now we know that g of x is the square root of x and so we have that f of g of x is sine of square root of x. We can also ask what g of f of x is and so here the outputs of f are the inputs of g and so what we're going to do is replace every x in g of x with an f of x. So we'll have the square root of f of x and, this, and f of x is sine x so we'll have the square root of sine x. Notice they're not the same thing. Sine of square root of x is definitely not the square root of sine x. Okay, let's look at another example. So here we have f of x is equal to the natural logarithm of x and g of x is 1 over x plus 10 then f of g of x, again, we're just going to replace x with g of x. So we have log e of g of x. But g of x is 1 over x plus 10. So we'll have log e of 1 over x plus 10. Similarly, we can look for g of f of x and we're going to replace every x in the definition of g of x with an f of x. So we'll have 1 over uh, f of x plus 10. But f of x is the natural log. So we'll have log e x plus 10. Again, these are different functions. Okay, the last example, here we have f of x is equal to x squared and g of x is equal to e to the 2 plus x. So we'll have f of g of x. That's simply replacing x in the definition of f with g of x. So we'll have g of x squared. But g of x is e to the 2 plus x. And we can simplify this if we want. By index laws, we just multiply the top, which is just e to the 4 plus 2x. OK, and finally, g of f of x. That's simply replacing every x in the definition of g with an f of x. So I've got e to the 2 plus f of x which is just e to the 2 plus x squared. And that's it for this video. If you liked the video, please uh, hit the like button. And consider subscribing if you want to see more of this content. Uh, there'll be uh, cheat notes available in the video description with uh, corresponding uh, fully worked solutions in the cheat notes. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comment section down below. Thanks, guys.